In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to mine Monero for absolutely free on any Windows 10 PC. The best part is, apart from being free, this works worldwide. So if you are from a third world country, also, this is definitely going to work for you. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video for today. So the first thing is get hold of your laptop or your PC and connect it to the internet. Once it is connected, open a browser. It could be Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari or Oprah or whatever it is and do a Google search for XM Rig. Once you do that, you get all the suggestions out here. Click on the first link out here and get onto this page. So XM Rig is the algorithm that is going to help you to mine Monero on your PC itself. You could connect this to any kind of a mining pool and uh, it is going to allocate the work to your PC and then your PC mines Monero. I do not want to get into the technical stuff, but just follow my video step by step, okay? Once you are on this page, just click on download. You need to download the software to your PC. So you are going to get directed to this page. Ensure that this is checked to Windows. Click on this option to download the latest version of the software. All right, I understand. Click on that tab. Click on download and you are going to have a zip file downloaded to your computer system. Now, what may just happen is that if you have an antivirus on your PC, you may see a pop-up like this and the download may just get disrupted or it may just get blocked. All right. So before you do the download, I recommend you go ahead and disable the antivirus. So this isn't going to be a problem at all because normally these antivirus softwares are set up in such a way to you know, block any installations for a cryptocurrency miner from a third party website, all right? But now this is something different. You are doing the mining yourself from your PC. Okay, you're not depending on any other service. So you could go ahead and disable the virus protection for your PC. Now, once that is disabled, you get back to the website and do a download again. The website is gonna download a zip file to your downloads. So you could click on downloads and then you check this option, click on this option and the file is completely downloaded to your computer system. No problem at all, okay, there's nothing to worry. I have tried and tested this for quite some time now with my other PCs and it has been working like a charm for me. No issues at all, all right? So you get to the downloads folder, you can maybe just uh, leave that here, or open the zip folder and uh, copy this to your desktop or any other folder that you would want, all right? So I just get this copied to my desktop and let's open this. Okay, so you have all the files out here that is needed to mine Monero on your PC itself. Now in the next step, you would need to use the wizard to set this up completely. So you click on wizard, you click on new configuration, you click on add pool, and then you select a pool from here itself. Here you could select uh, NAND pool, and then you need to put in your Monero wallet address. So in order for you to complete this step, you need to have a Monero wallet address. Right. So what you could do is get onto Google Play on your smartphone itself and you could download the Atomic Wallet, which is a multi-coin wallet and it is super safe. So you could just type in Atomic Wallet, install it. It's the second option out here and open the application. Once the application opens for the first time on your smartphone, you would be prompted to create an account. Just follow the on-screen instructions. And do not forget to save up your backup freezes so that in case you lose your phone, you could gain access to your wallet on any other device later on, okay, or on a new phone. So once you have complete access, you log in, just do a search for XMR out here or Monero. You are going to get a suggestion out here itself. So just tap the icon for Monero and you're going to be directed to this page on which you need to click on receive to get your deposit address, All right? You could click on copy. The address is copied and probably you could uh, send this to the email address that is on your laptop itself. So let me go ahead and send this to the email address real quick out here. You open your Gmail account on your laptop and by now the email has been received, I'm sure. Here you go. You click on that email and double click on this. Copy this, get back to the page and paste it out here. For the location, it depends on where you are. Supposing you are in the US, you could select a location closest to you, US East or US West. If you're in Japan, you could select Japan. If you're in maybe China, you could select Japan. If you're in Thailand, you could select Japan or you know anywhere nearby, all right? Just look for a location which is near your place. So since I'm in India, let's uh, select Asia, click on add pool. 
Next, you click on backends and you ensure that this is checked to on. It has to mine through your CPU. This should not be off, so it should be on. And if you have a graphic card attached to your machine or if you have a PC that is having a good graphics card, you could uh, select this also. But uh, if you do not, you could just uh, keep this off, not a problem. Next, you select this option and uh, for donations, you could, you know, according to you, you could go ahead and uh, give 1% of your mining or you could, you know, give 5% or whatever it is. Let's keep it to 1% and the result configuration file is going to be this. Now you keep this open and you get back to the folder that you copied to the desktop. All right. So this is the folder. Where is it? This is it. So I double click on the folder. This opens. So you need to edit this JSON file. Get back to Google Chrome and do a search for dot JSON editor. You get all the search results out here. Select the first option, JSON editor online. And this opens up simple and easy, right? So you click on this option to open from disk and you paste this JSON file from that folder on the desktop. Okay. So you double click this, the file opens up out here. You need to edit this file. So you need to uh, copy everything out here. Just click inside of this box. All right. Control A or select everything inside the box and you replace this by this file out here. So you could just click on this uh, copy button for this configuration. Get back to this page and just paste it out here. Then you go ahead and save this to disk. So save this as the same file name. Do not change this. Now, the next thing is to replace the JSON file in the folder that you had downloaded okay to your desktop so you could get to downloads and just copy the json file get back to this folder and paste it out here replace it and we are done now to mine monero on your pc every time you would have to open this folder right and click on this icon xm rig that's it okay and uh, your miner starts as you could see that uh, this has automatically gone ahead and uh, detected my PC configuration out here and the mining is uh, about to start All right, so within like few seconds or few minutes the mining starts out here and this is definitely going to reduce the speed or the performance of your PC so you need to ensure that you're doing this on a PC that has a good configuration or else you're not using that PC for day-to-day -day use because it's going to be very very slow once you start the miner understandable right because we're trying to earn some extra money out here through mining monero so we are going to allocate some time to that right so you're going to be paid by the mining pool automatically once you reach one monero and the amount of payment that you're going to get is less the donation that you agreed on the website remember on the website out here when you were setting up the configuration uh, if you get to backends or miscellaneous you agreed to donate one percent so they would deduct 1% and send you the remaining amount. And to track all your transactions, you could directly go ahead and do a search for Nanpool on Google and get to the website for nanpool.org and uh, click on overview for Monero. And all you would have to do is just search your wallet address to get all your stats out here. So you could, uh, you know, get back to this page. Let's go ahead and copy the Monero wallet address and get back to this page. Paste your wallet address out here and do a search. You are going to see that added up. Since I've just set this up on the video itself, it is not going to show right now on the website. But as soon as the miner starts mining Monero, after some time, once it is synced to the website, it is definitely going to show out here. So just give it like at least six to seven hours. Your data is definitely going to show up out here like the amount of hashes per second, the amount of Monero that you have earned, the amount of unconfirmed Monero and stuff like that. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give my video a thumbs up. Take care, my friend.